I've come to one of the city's most exclusive restaurants, Imperial, to taste the soup for the very first time. Wow, right. King's food, Shark Fin. Shark Fin chef Chang Chi Kwan doesn't speak English, but the maitre d' David is here to help me out. So in there is a um, chicken stock. Yes, the old pan. And Chinese ham. We've got this amazing broth that's been cooking now for sort of eight to 10 hours. And it's flavored with ham. And you just darkened it with some soy sauce. It's got sort of salty, slightly smoked flavor to it. The shark fins have been steamed, soaked, and washed for days, and then left to infuse in a basic chicken stock until the texture is gelatinous. This one is the... 19 The shark fin, this way. 90 pounds for that? Yes. Jesus. And this one? This one, 3,200 shark fin. 70 quid. So 90 quid, 70 pound. So quality of fin is judged by size and thickness. The broth is added to a heated clay pot, and once boiling, the fin goes in. Right. And that's it? Finished? As you'd expect, I've gone for the most expensive bowl. So, traditional garnish, a little bit of red wine vinegar, some bamboo shoots, and some coriander. So the idea is to peel back the fin what does it taste of? Real proper shark fin soup. I mean, it's really, really bizarre. I mean, really bizarre. Because it actually tastes of nothing. Almost like sort of plain glass noodles. The broth's delicious, really good. But it could have anything in there. It could have chicken, sweet corn, it could have duck in there. It's just pork belly. So it's almost like the, the one item that's spoiling that is the shark fin. I want to ask the customers why they're prepared to spend so much money on something that, to me, tastes of nothing. No, it's no, it just, no, 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 it's, it's, no, it's important. Relax. No, relax. It's a VIP. I wanted to go and ask that table of VIP guests that have spent ninety pound each on a bowl of soup, and they're denying me access into the dining room. Have you got a piece of paper, please? A pen and piece of paper. The paper. Excellent. It just. Why do you enjoy eating shark fin soup? Um, it's delicious. It's delicious, <laughs> yeah. which is enough. Does it ever concern you, the amount of sharks that we use and abuse in terms of the depleted stocks? Never know. We never know. We never understand about that, yeah. Never know. And it's now the most expensive soup in the world. Yeah. Because of the, <laughs> because of the price, would it stop you eating it or not? No. <laughs> we still eat that. Not very often, but sometimes, yeah. Special occasion. Yeah, special occasion. Yeah. Yeah. Mother's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. From a chef's point of view, if it was something that really did taste absolutely amazing, then, yeah, I'd put my hand up and say, Christ, you know, but it doesn't deliver. And the sad news is they're, they're relying on their history, almost as a tradition from their parents and their grandparents to say, you've got to eat this because it's a symbol of status. My God. Look at this. Now we're on top of the roof. And these are all laid out to dry. There must be thousands of them here. It's a shark fin graveyard. With fins for sale in the shops for up to 200 pounds each, the amount of money on this one roof alone is mind boggling. It's a gold mine. This place is a fucking joke. OK, she just called someone on the telephone. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're going, we're going. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Unbelievable. Fuck me. Let's get out of here before we get shot. Jesus Christ. I watch in horror as a scalloped hammerhead 
one of the most endangered shark species, has its fin sliced off while still alive. It's a slow, long and drawn out process. See the animal still alive and wiggling. The pure cruelty of this. Just imagine taking a lion in the savannas of Africa and cutting its arms off and then just throwing them out on the savanna to bleed and to die. That would be extremely cruel. The meat of the hammerhead shark in Costa Rica, once they're this size, has no value absolutely. If they bring it back to the port, no one will buy it. So that's the, that's the incentive to, to fin. It's without doubt the worst act of animal cruelty I've ever seen. Hi, it's Gordon Ramsay. How are you? Good, 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 good. Um, listen, thank you for your email, but I was just wondering if you could just be so kind to give me five minutes of your time. Um, I know you've got no interest in meeting with me, but um, I think it's really important that we do meet. But Mr. Cruz, I'm, I'm, I'm also a businessman. I, I run 23 restaurants, so my business is, uh, just like yours, uh, very important to me. I will come to you. Miss, Mr. Cruz, one more thing. But then some good news. A local contact of Randall's, Daniel, has managed to get me into a private dock. Have you told him I'm a chef? Yeah, yeah. I, I will. And even better, a chance to go out and join a boat shark fishing. Jesus. Look at that, it's like going to the prison. <laughs> huh? Hola. Morning. But first, I get to watch a boat unloading its month's catch. <clears throat> Hola. Hola, what's that? How are you? At $2 a kilo for the meat versus $28 a kilo for the fins, there's no doubt what these fishermen are interested in. It's all about the fins. Just the fins. Fin after fin after fin after fin. That's the prize, fin there, that one there. That's where the money is. The tail. The most tender part and the part that's most sought after in China. I know this is legal, but I find the sheer quantity of sharks being landed distressing. This is all for that one dish, that shark fin soup. It's honestly right now starting to make me feel fucking sick. It's relentless. And now, I'm about to witness firsthand how these sharks are being caught. I can't believe we're going on this boat, you know that? My journey has taken me 10,000 miles from Taiwan to the other side of the world, and this tiny boat fishing to meet Asia's huge demand for fins. I'm joining a crew of four, 10 days into their month out at sea. Okay. All right, who else is coming? This is a small boat with a 12 mile long line with 800 hooks on there. Shark, shark. First shark, and it's a baby silky one of the most overfished species in the world. Like most sharks, they give birth to very few pups, once every two years. Less than a year old, these sharks have been killed before given a chance to reproduce. It's not the quick, humane death I'm used to seeing with animals back home. It's hard to watch. I've never been exposed to the reality of long line fishing. Shit. It's indiscriminate. It's turtle, fucking hell. It's turning out to be a fucking nightmare. In discovery. What bait is that? No clue? It's like it's like it's a shark. 
and a shark. Shark. Yeah. shark. So right. he's a shark as bait as well. Yeah. What kind of what kind of shark was that as bait? And uh, fresher. Fresher. Fresher shark. Mm. That may get worse. It's tragic that the body of a thresher shark is of such little value, they're using it as bait. Finished. Yeah. The end of the line. Thanks fuck for that. Just as the fishermen are loading the hold with today's catch, I spot something coming out that I hadn't expected to see. Yeah. Yeah. Show me this here. When, when's that catch from? These from, from yesterday. Shark fin. Jesus, that's pretty big. When's that one from yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, now. Wow. What kind of shark is that from? ¿Y qué tipo de tiburón es ese? Thresher. Thresher. Jesus. What else have we got in here? And here, nothing. And in here? Wow. Wow. And where did this... This must have been a big shark, this one. Huh? No, muy largo, como yo aquí. Two meters. Jesus. I didn't see any signs of a body down below. If they bring these fins into the port, they'll be breaking Costa Rican law, which states that shark bodies must be landed with the fins attached. Those shark fins down there. Yeah, the sack of fins. Do you have any more fins on board? But it's, it's illegal to land the shark fin separate from the body. El problema porque solamente uno. It's just one. Es uno. Si buena en cantidad, one. sí. Si buena en cantidad, sí. Ah, vamos presos todos. I suspect that those fresher fins belong to the body they were using as bait. Because from what I'd seen, there was no sign of a two-meter shark down below. Such a small boat, they don't want to fill up the boat with a body of a shark that size. So, um, yeah, I mean, fucking hell. I mean, the writing's on the wall, isn't it? So, it's hard, it's very hard. These guys are under a huge pressure to make money. And uh, it's not an excuse, but... Yeah. The plan is to show five of London's leading Chinese restaurants some footage of my journey and to persuade them to take shark fin soup off their menus. I asked you here today for an open debate and I'm not here to accuse anyone of any wrongdoing or misgiving. But after the investigating the sort of shark fin in industry in my program, I'm convinced by decreasing the demand for shark fin soup, it's possible to lessen the demand for fins. To give them an idea of the scale of the problem, I'm showing them what I found in Kaohsiung Port in Taiwan. There must be thousands of them here. This is incredible. Is every roof like this? Um, Chinese cooking is always and has been renowned for using everything. 5% uh, you know, of the fin, 95% as a byproduct. You're wasting more than you're using. I guess, yeah. It's something that's been through tradition that shark's fin, um, you know, is prized. There are no shark recipes that I know using the meat. And so when I look at that, I feel that, yes, we should use the rest of the shark as well as the fin. Otherwise, not at all. I need to open their eyes to the barbaric and wasteful reality of finning. It's shocking. Yeah. It's shocking. Everybody in this room is here for a reason, because you can make a difference, and that difference would be to start alongside me with a campaign to ban shark fin soup on the menu here in Chinatown. The meeting went really well. It was a small but very powerful group of restaurants, and if they're now agreeing with me to stop serving shark fin soup, that is a huge, huge advantage because now others may follow.